Hi, I'm Laura Cohen and I collaborated with Ant Nyman who runs Antics Fitness in Surrey. Hey, I'm Ant and I run something called Antics. Uh, we get about 100 people to a class and we also have a live DJing class once a week. And the difficulty is often getting what we have and what we have to offer across in the form of an advert. I approached Ant because I attend these fitness classes and I offered to make him a promotional video. The brief was to show people what Antics is all about and to encourage people to come along. We've had people before, other designers, come in and do videos for us. But Laura felt it would be a little bit different because she's kind of part of that community feel that we've created. She knows what it's all about. So I was hopeful that she'd be able to get that across from the point of view of the audience. I started researching different promo videos for fitness companies that had similarities to antics. I noted down the positives, the negatives, and what I felt like I gained from watching these videos. This gave me a good idea of what aspects I wanted to bring to my own videos. I then looked into how to actually make promotional videos, as this isn't something that I've done before. This covers strategic planning, pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, and distribution. When I had done some research, me and Ant set some dates to film test shots and final shots. I created a contingency plan to make sure everything got done in the time frame set, and also it's something that I could refer back to whenever I needed to. I decided to film on the Canon 5D Mark II as I knew I could get some really aesthetic shots. Unfortunately all the 5D Mark IIs were booked out for when I needed them, so after some further research I decided on the 550D, um, which I actually could get some really nice shots with as well. I also researched cinematics with a DSLR and also how to get aesthetically pleasing shots in sports halls. With barely any well shot promotional videos being filmed in sports halls, I realised this was something I was going to have to work out for myself during the test shots. Additionally, the optimal length for promotional videos on Facebook I found to be 60 seconds. This was something I wanted to stick to, however I gave myself 10% either way. The best promo videos that I found had some really nice smooth moving shots as well as panning shots. I felt like this made the videos look much more upmarket and much more appealing. After researching how to get some smooth moving shots, I found several ways to achieve this. I found a plank of wood that had some rusty old wheels attached to it, but it didn't move smoothly at all. After sanding down the wheels and trying again, I realised new wheels would be needed for it to have any kind of smooth motion. So I purchased some new wheels and replaced the old ones. This was a huge success, giving me some really fluid shots. At the end of October, I'd film some test shots to check the lighting and see what shots worked and what didn't work. Also, it got people used to the camera being there. After filming, I began putting together rough edits to copyright free music, which I found online. The music that I chose was energetic to suit the style of the classes. I also had to cut out the Antics logo on Photoshop to overlay it onto the footage. After some consideration, I realised that it would probably be better to have three separate videos, one for each of the classes in the week. I approached Ant with this and he thought it was a great idea as it meant that he could post each video at the run-up to each class. We also felt that it would give a more in-depth view of each specific class. When each rough edit was made, I uploaded it to the Google Drive and linked Ant in so he could give me feedback. I then sat and reviewed each of the edits that I had made and noted down the positives, the negatives and what I felt like I could improve on. For the final filming, I had a much better understanding of what shots I wanted and I also had a greater knowledge of what camera settings worked in the lighting environment that I was in. The dolly that I made has some great effects on the smooth shots that I got, even if the kids in the class were making it a little bit hard to work with. I reviewed all the footage quickly after each class and edited together a rough cut before the next class was going to happen. This gave Ant and myself some insight into what was working, what wasn't working and what shots I needed to get for the next class. After a critique in the final edit, I re-edited the videos to enhance them. This included colour grading. As well as thinking about what shots should go next to one another, I also wanted to enhance the logo. I redrew the logo in Photoshop to give it a 3D look, giving it shadow and depth. I then realised that only one of the songs used for the promos was fully copyright free. The other two were not certified for advertising. When I discussed this with Anne, we decided that using the same song for all three videos would probably bring them all together. So I re-edited all three videos with the same song. We decided that the most efficient way of distributing the videos was for me to put them onto a USB and give them to Anne so he could upload them to Facebook when it suited him. So I expected it to probably look like any other workout video. However, it completely exceeds my uh, expectations. We pride ourselves on not just being a class, but being really fun, somewhere that is sort of like a supportive community where everyone comes together, works out and works hard, but enjoys doing so and has a good laugh in the process. That's what Antics is all about. And that is 100% what Laura's managed to get across in the video. I thoroughly enjoyed making these promos. As well as gaining valuable experience working with a company, I feel like I've gained so much experience making promotional videos, from the planning and the research to the editing and the distribution. <laughs>
and that's a wrap